welcome back to Portland Pickers. And we have another estate sale Saturday haul to show you guys. This isn't even the Sunday haul, because that's tomorrow. Saturday. Doesn't exist yet, but it will. This was uh, sitting over in the corner, and Erica pointed it out, and then I quickly <laughs> focused in on it. Uh huh. And this is a handmade kaleidoscope by this guy, Henry Bergeson. Um, and it's marked on the inside there. Kaleidoscope, like discs, and that fit falling. inside the kaleidoscope Meshugana. And uh, anyway, you don't need to know how it works. You look at it like this. Anyway. And it's like super cool kaleidoscopy things going on. But uh, it's a really expensive one. It's a really nice wood. I paid 35 bucks for it. They had it at, they had it marked for 65 and I was like, what do you, what will you do for it? And they're like 35 and I was like, okay, I'll take it. And uh, these kaleidoscopes run anywhere from two to $400. Now I found the steal of the day, which is this awesome jacket that everybody's gonna hate, but I'm gonna love. I don't know if I'm gonna resell it yet. Shaggy dog jacket. Yeah, I already have a different shaggy dog jacket, and now I have a cooler one. We have a Wii. Um, we and have a, a Wii. We have a Wii console with the AV cable and the motion sensor thing. Oh, wee wee. And that was nine bucks. I have the power adapter and stuff for it, so upstairs, spare parts, so. I can complete that console, move it along. Ryobi uh, battery charger, just a wall plug. You know, 50 cents is probably a $20 charger, believe it or not. Um, here we have a old, Kind of a, it's an old mic. A static, not familiar with the brand, but it's heavy and it's old. And so that is enough of a qualifier for me. And that was a buck. Here we have a Lumix. Um, Digital camera. Oh, it's got a couple of dings on it. I wonder if that happened on the way over. So. Probably. Uh, it's dead right now. I paid five bucks for it, but I have the charger and it has a 16 gigabit. Does it have the battery in it? It has the battery in it too, so I can, so for five bucks, if that's fully working and good to go. What are these? Uh, these are just for my personal tool, tool kit. How many of those do you need? I need eight. Got some, uh, like, Japan made, Albert lighter, this is LDL, you know, just like a buck a piece. Some people collect these and like that old style feel of, who doesn't like to play with those? That estate sale that I got for $7.50 was all these different Dart, this is a Grateful Dead dart. This one has boobs on it. What? Boobs. I said boobs. I said boobs. Say no more. So this will be a lot of fun researching the different kind of brands of the, the Silver Bullet and the different kinds of, uh, and they're not feathers. What are these called? Uh, like just tips. Tips. Or wings, not tips. Tips, the pointy thing. These different wings. To put so it into layman's terms. That will be fun for me to do. Makita, it's a little set. Four dollars. Always plenty of room for money to be made. Even selling the case separately. This is something where you sell. The charger, the drill, the light, the battery, separate. You split it up and you make 50 bucks. And then I got some little 
ladies shoes. These are Bass Outdoor. Um, one thing to look for when you're looking at shoes is like abnormal sizing because for people who have smaller feet or really big feet, it's probably harder for them to find shoes that fit them so they're more likely to go online to buy some. So these are size five, so they're really tiny, too tiny for my feet, they're cute. And these Tommy Hilfiger checkered little slip-on. Again, I don't even think these were worn very much. And got them both for a dollar each. Buck a piece on some like almost new shoes. We don't need to tell you that's a good deal. Look, that never wears out. This is what it says on the box. And we got the box, which has also helped sell them. I like people that keep the boxes of their shoes. I'm not one of those. I don't discriminate, you know? If you don't keep your box, that's fine with me. <laughs> you keep your box. I do. Because I'm cool like that. This I saw on a bottom shelf. And panel meters are really cool to me. So that always stands out. This particularly had sockets where radio tubes go in, and then looking at the setup of the dials, I realized it was a tester for that. So, practical application, maybe, maybe not. Uh, if you're playing with this stuff, though, this is this is something that you need before you uh, install a radio tube. You test it to see if it's good. So. Paid 22 bucks for it, not sure what it's worth. Now you can get into the radio tube But, business. it's pretty freaking cool. For me, I don't I'm know if you guys sure. watch, but you should go watch another video where I get really upset that I can't <laughs> buy a lot of uh, rubber stamps. I have to check out that other estate sale video. Link will be down below in the description. It should be popping up right in front of you. Somewhere, I don't ASAP. even know how to do that. But, I got my boxes of rubber stamps and people think this is crazy but some of these sell for eight to ten dollars for just one there's lots of money in here it just takes a lot of time and this was erica's deal i didn't even i, I was just a bystander in this i wanted the rubber stamps i was jaded one time before and they gave me good price though see this one has the original sticker Someone paid seven twenty-five for just this stamp. Yeah. Um, and I got them for about fifty cents each, or less, depending on how many are in here. We we kind of roughly count, counted. I'd say there's probably like three hundred stamps in here. Mm. Want to make a bet? Let's bet. I think there's probably, I'd say probably closer to one, one hundred and twenty. Maybe a hundred. We'll count them later and see who's right. We'll see who can rough estimate. Put down in the right. comments, Team how many, Jacob, how which many is already stamps? a team, or Team Erica. How many stamps do you think are in that box? And that box. Ooh, you can see it on the sides. I don't know if I'm making it harder <laughs> or easier for you to do. Anyway. Low voltage uh, lighting transformers. These sell like hotcakes. Uh, maybe not, um, but they do sell. No one's eating them that I'm aware of. And then in addition to the two transformers that came in this box, it has all the lighting accessories and wire. This is for someone who's setting up lighting in their yard. And that was Bye. 10 bucks, and this will probably be $80 worth of stuff. So that Bye. is our haul for this Saturday afternoon, this rainy Saturday afternoon. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and comment Team Jacob or Team Erica about the number of stamps. About those stamps, you, got, you have to guess. You have to type in something. To know that you exist. Yeah, otherwise... You don't. None of this ever. <laughs> oh my god.